Alright, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing here of the FI Tech Go EFI. I ordered the Go Street 400 horsepower basic kit, cast finish as it says. So let's take a look at what's inside here. I can actually get the top open because of my cabinets. Alright, good enough. Instruction booklet, awesome. Catalog, quick start guide. Alrighty. You probably hear my child in the background. She's not too happy with mama at bedtime. Looks like we've got a windshield mount here. From what I've seen, the user interface wiring. More awesome wiring. From other reviews I've seen, this is a uh, hooks to your computer. Exhaust clamps, probably for the bolt-on O2 sensor. Miscellaneous gaskets. The O2 sensor, supposedly the most up-to-date ones that are built. Uh, the O2 clamp on bung use that for now I'll probably end up welding one on to my exhaust system what's under is what everybody wants to really see the actual fuel body itself there's the I don't know what they mean by limited edition cool whatever but user interface kind of smells like gasoline already so it looks like they've tested it fully like they say they do yep definitely smells of gasoline so I like that they've tested that I guess which means I've got a working product I presume there it is the FI Tech computers in the front you get your what they say 900 CFM throttle body yeah you can see a little bit it looks like they've run gasoline through it definitely all the fittings for different throttles and everything this will be going on a 1983 Ford Ranger with a 5.0 on it nice and shiny look at that and I'll be using the as a return system on this one. I'm not going to pay the $400 for their little sump setup that they have. Inside there, I don't know if anybody can actually see them or not, but there's lots of little fuel injection holes in there for where it does a swirl or whatever that they say magically does delicious stuff. Return. Clearly labeled, all the lines, everything, more goodies, quick plugs like they say, you know it's just really simple plug and play, a lot of it, all your different vacuums and everything. This one, this computer system does not advance your distributor, which I'm going to be using a vacuum distributor anyways, let's see, right there. See wear marks from the factory. I presume it's new from the factory. I wish I could really have three hands here, but yeah, we'll do an open up later on it. Pretty nifty, nice setup here. All the plugs are on the back, as said. Solid spring action. It's your fuel pressure regulator built in, 58 psi. And pump I'm going to be using is a E2000, pretty universal actually. Originally go on Fords and everything, and from other videos and stuff I've seen, they run at 70 psi, which should be more than sufficient to 
feed this. And all the other oh, something else in here. Let's see what's in the box. It is ah yes, what I was hoping. The temperature sensor that is needed. I will be tapping into my heater hose, which is as least as close as I can get to the uh, manifold and everything. Very important. This is what I was wondering if it actually came with or not. I couldn't get an accurate thing on them, but that does. So awesome, 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 awesome. Be teeing into the heater hose, like I said. So I want to run a manual gauge too. I still want to keep my manual on top. All right, there we have it. Some quick little Lottie Dot video. This is part one of however many. Next will be hopefully in the next few days installing this on my truck. Stay tuned.